<laughs> it's your job anyhow, so not really my job to do. My first car was a... Uh, a Ford Cougar Coupe. Uh, it was a Chevy uh, that I heritage from my older sister, then from my older brother, then I, I had it uh, until I crashed it. <laughs> Fiat 500 from 1969. I've not even burned the clutch. A uh, battery car when I was two and a half years old. First car, VW Polo, 60 horsepower, slow as anything. I wasn't allowed to drive at the time because I signed with Toro Rosso and uh, I got a Clio RS at home, but I didn't have my driving license yet, so it was just uh, standing around a bit. I loved it, to be honest, because you could drive it flat out everywhere and it was still within the speed limit, so it was, uh, it was good fun. There's a Mini. Uh, Lada. My first car, I uh, had a BMW M3. I was a, a works driver for BMW when I got my driver's license, so I was very spoiled and had a BMW X3. A-class Mercedes. Mine, personally, was a, a Renault. Um, they gave me when I, I passed my license, yeah. My first personal car was a Renault Megane in 1999. Honda S2000. Uh, 500 Abarth. Mini Cooper D. All black, you know, of course. Black rims, black, tinted windows. Gangster, that kind of that kind of thing, you know. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I ha I won't lie, I have before, but it's not something I frequently do. Recently, I'm too busy. I've, I have three kids, no time to <laughs> to do that sort of stuff. No, no, no. Mm, this morning, probably. A friend of mine told me, "Ah, oh, did you see you have a Wikipedia page?" I was like, yeah, really? But who did this? So I didn't know, so I went and checked. That was the last time. My Wikipedia photo is awful when I was chatting with my manager saying, I Googled myself and said, right, we need to change this because I hate, I hate this. If anyone Googles George Russell, it's not a good look and uh, first impressions are important. A week ago? A week ago, I think. Not for a while. I would admit I've done it. Probably a few weeks ago, but that had nothing to do with Formula One. It was about sim race. I like seeing what people think that they know when they actually have no idea. When I signed with Renault, I think one of the first things was like Daniel Ricciardo's salary. And I was like, I was curious to see like if it was accurate or not. So that was probably the one, one of the things I did. It was off, yeah. It was like five times the amount. I'm just kidding, it really wasn't. <laughs> it was um, back when I was eight years old at a little track outside of uh, Montreal called Saint Hilaire. I think second time or first time I race in the karting. First podium was my first race weekend. In all honesty, I don't remember that one, but I remember my first win in go-karts. Because as a winner, you got this laurel, and I always wanted to have one. And the race that I won, I didn't have one. <laughs> we made one up. I think my parents found one, so I was still still happy. First race in karting, I finished P3. So yeah, 2000. I guess like I'm going back to go-karting days. Uh, I think it was July 1999. Yeah, it was a first as well. So I went straight to the top. I remember my first trophy. I was about eight, eight years old. Bizarre, I got a trophy for finishing like seventh in this race. They did trophies down to 10th. So, uh, so everybody felt like a winner. I remember it very well. They gave me a trophy and a bottle of 7-Up and that was uh, our version of champagne back then. Did you try to spray it? I did. <laughs> it worked out pretty well, actually. <laughs> it's called the Cheddar Challenge. It was a, a bike race. You just went up a hill, around a hairpin, and then back down. It wasn't really me who won. It was more my dad pushing me to the top of the hill quicker than everyone else's dad. Probably around 2009 in, uh, in Kerbin. Well, that was my first go-kart race. Uh, I won, so what I remember, it doesn't matter about the winning or the podium. For me, it was my dad, because he was my mechanic. Um, he was so nervous next to the, like, to the side of the track that uh, was actually motivating me. Uh, I was basically a bit laughing inside my helmet and I was seven years old, so. I think I was around seven, eight years old. There was absolutely no one, but just because being the son of Carlos Sainz, one guy came to me and said, for sure you're gonna be famous in the future. So he took an autograph for me. Yeah, I was quite surprised when, when that happened. I, I think it was quite early when, when I was in my first year in single seater. It was in Italy, um, in the south, that was maybe 10 years ago. And uh, I thought that I was mistaken for somebody else. 2017, 
uh, in Formula 4 in Japan. I was like, is that for me? <laughs> Are you asking me? Uh, and he was like, yeah, yeah, it's the man, yeah. It was probably five years or so ago. I've learned I need to shorten my, my signature, but I feel a bit bad for everyone who has my signature in the past if I go and change it now. So it's a debate I'm having with myself. I have two persons in particular that are very, very loyal fans. It was in 2010. That was probably my first autograph that I gave to these two persons that still follow me. I think that was in a very early age. Uh, someone asked me for an autograph when I was like seven or eight in a go-kart race. And, and I remember that he told me this uh, signature will be very important in in a couple of years' time. So, yeah, I don't know if he is able to sell it now. Well, from what I can remember, it was well, we had our workshop. I was racing on like these mini bikes outside. The funny thing was, I think at the time my signature was, wasn't even the same to what it is now. He has a special Max Verstappen autograph, which you can't get anymore. Uh, it would have been when I was like 22, when I turned pro, and it must have been like probably halfway through the year, then someone noticed me at the petrol station. But, uh, I'm still waiting. <laughs> 14th of February. Oh my god, this happens to me every time. Sometimes I forget things. The last time I forgot something important was probably one hour ago. Well, I think it was last year to one of the Grand Prix. I forgot my socks or underwear. Actually, I loaned, I think, something of my, some of my dad. <laughs> the most important thing I have once forgot is my mom's birthday. But I managed to, like, somehow play it off cool like I was acting like I've you know, and I pulled it back in and she had no idea. <laughs> oh, this morning I, I forgot the car key. This trip, actually, I forgot my sleeping pillow. I forgot my uh, running shoes to go on the track walk, so I'll probably get blisters. This was very recently, and it's never ever happened to me before. I left my bag at the security gate. A passport, classic one for me, and that's uh, quite valuable sometimes, uh, especially when you're traveling. Yesterday, we call it driver laptop. I have in, in, the, in the team with all the data and everything. I forgot, didn't forget the laptop, but the charger when I came to the track. And I was in the airport for an hour, uh, went to the gate uh, to board the plane. And only then I realized I didn't have my bag. And it was one of those gates that is just miles away. And I had to sprint all the way back to security. I almost forgot the fact that I didn't have my suit for today because it was uh, not in my driver room. Uh, I guess that's important. Uh. PR people were not so happy with me, no? <laughs> when I went to visit Christian, he invited me to, to his home. I forgot my wallet there. <laughs> but I only found out uh, like a week after when he told me that uh, he has my wallet. So it was good. I left it there for about two months. So I didn't spend any money. Get there, ask my bag. And the guy turned around and says, why did you leave it? <laughs> why do you think I left it? I, for I forgot it. And. Uh, had a quick uh, exchange with him and sprinted back. Um, so almost missed a flight out here. Uh, uh, Instagram, classic hair. Huh? I don't think anyone would answer any different. My sleeping app, quite often the weather. When I'm in Mexico, CNBC to see how, how the stock market is gonna do. Probably WhatsApp and then I go Instagram uh, and Twitter. <laughs> Nothing that I would always check because I have always silence on, so you know, it doesn't disturb me. Probably Instagram. Um, I, I don't. Oh. Instagram? Depends. Uh, sometimes WhatsApp and sometimes Instagram. WhatsApp. Instagram. Probably WhatsApp. Probably Instagram. <laughs> WhatsApp. WhatsApp or Instagram. Mm, the one that I have any notification of. Uh, most of the time WhatsApp, yeah. Or Discord or something. WhatsApp. Yeah, I try not to open my day with like social media. I just, I try and go at least 10 minutes into the day. 